baby. They could just line up for this. So many players about to round this corner, and Kenny's gonna just have to hit some heads. He's hanks for them, and it's just the first. He's able to fall back. He's gotta put his we weapon back together. And he will. It's a good time flashbang, but he knows the magazine's low. Now he's got the knife out. Oh. It's a stab onto Issa. Oh, oh my and God. And the headshot on Devalda. Hunter's going to help him out from pit. So Alexi B is all alone in a one versus five. Nobody gets out from porch. Nobody gets footing close to that site. And it all goes around Kenny S. Wow. Alexi, the one on three. You think he's got no chance. One player back, default, one in the pit. It's one of the most dangerous crossfires, even when you have five alive. Saw they struggled in that Ooh. situation. Headshot through the wall. Alexi's out of the round. What a round from Kenny S, yes, though. Unconfirmed uh, damage. Unconfirmed damage. Do you have that trademarked? Not yet, and I probably shouldn't have said it live. Right. But uh, I, come back. I trust everybody uh, at home and in the arena. Nice little crossfire here. It's going to get Alexi B. He's trying to keep his head on a swivel and does enough damage for Valda to get his trade. Now, flashbang from Kenny S, but does he expect Issa to be tucked behind the tree? God damn, Valda, he's just dodging shots. And there we have it, Issa coming out from the corner, but running into his own death. He's gonna be playing inside of the graveyard. As two CTs are still coming in off library side, we're gonna get the first duel here. That Krieg's at bat. A warning shot through the pillar of the wall, and now down to the even 2v2. It's a trade back, Hunter. No. Ooh, he's got them both, but the time. Yeah. He's going to sprint in for this. Gets wow. on top of it. It's going to come down to the wire, but he's... Whoa! <laughs> just barely. Team, like a Swole Patrol or some, something yeah. else to try to make it through. Good luck. But now there's basically one spot with Astralis there. Full passive setup on the A site, but they've already got a kill. So you think it makes the decision a little bit easier. Ooh. Nice tag as well from Kenny. Yeah, lucky to be alive is Issa. He's replaced on the forefront by Alexi, trying to trudge along here. He's the only player to actually get past that Molotov, so he knows there's a gap between him and the next player, but nice little jump bait there. And he just creeps back into the pit. That confirms Aminek's position. The Molotov forces him into the open, and Alexi dodging bullets, laying down flames, Another and one. trying to challenge the second player on site. But that's where Kenny S is going to cut him down. CTs go for the peak. There's no plant yet, wow. but they're almost playing retake. 20 seconds, bomb so close. Here comes Hunter, one and done. Jax and Kenny snap it back. Very impressed by his kind of like a rookie tier one land performance. Yeah, considering he you know was definitely one of the last pieces of the puzzle. We've had praise to give Kenny. Can't get himself the second, but Jax so close. Yeah. Tucked back behind second orange and that smoke grenade's gonna elicit the rotate already. We've got Nexa trying to get into position. Two T's crossing over to pit, one of which is down so swiftly. Mantu could go huge here. So could Valda if he lines up these couple of bodies, but there's the first one. Mantu <gasps> skewers them, but only gets the one kill. Hunter, oh, move. 15 health. And Jack still on a full bar of HP with that bar arm halfway gone. These first eight rounds have been indicative of what we've gotten from them all weekend long, and that's just top tier CS. But Hunter's put to arrest an OG have themselves a chance to finally break through this dry oh. spell. NBK. Yikes. Right now, they don't know Jax is still here. Oh my god, <gasps> go massive. Too many players to look at. He does get down into the cover, but he's met by NBK, who seems to be everywhere this round. Yeah. And let's see if Valda can do anything else. Critical He's going to try wrapping spawn. around CT spawn, executes Amanek immediately, and this is what you'd hope for for G2. But um, yeah, how many more times they can do that is a big question. Should be the first one to fire off here, playing with a very thin pillar. He's gonna just fire one time, fall back. Now the T's hop down into what could have been their demise, but they come out. Then we flip the coin over. We've got the smoke, the Molotov, Amanek. He's gonna chuck that out. That should push Issa into the open. He still does massive damage. Very much sets up Valda to line these pins up and knock them down. It's winnable. He's got a sick off angle. He gets the first one, needs to readjust. Amanek has the favor. Amanek has the kill. Pushes back into the site, <gasps> goes onto the fuse. No, he does not have a kit. And it looks like all of that economic damage that OG did over the course of the eight rounds at G2-1 has paid off. I feel like it's a much better problem to have to have a team using too many pauses too quickly. Plus, 
If this game really gets rolling and we find ourselves in the 25 to 30th rounds, then just imagine the momentum. But here's a little bit on this A site. Jax does damage on the first. Oh, lands two Keep an eye on him. Headshots and could follow up because he's got a teammate dealing other damage. Amanek brings this into the man advantage. Alexi B with the Mac 10 grabs himself another, but now he is all alone. Two kills on the round and two more players to take with such little health to do it. Amanek has him down. Down. And G2 robbing around here in the 13th. 9-4 to four the score. But this is the thing. You know, they have so many rounds to work with. They can pull this eco out. Now they have nine rounds. Best case situation for OG is six, no matter how good the comeback had been so far. Good angle from Jax. He's just going to continue the spray down, getting two players through the edge of that door. When you try to use a fake ID to get in the club. Yeah. You're not DJ. You can't get in. <laughs> he liked that. Here's Hunter, though, ready with the next angle. And I do like that OG just kind of falls silent here. It's going to leave G2 scratching their heads. Mm -hmm. We could see Kenny cheating over through spawn, making sure he doesn't get peeked from library. So, yeah, there are still two members of G2 on site. He's a little scared. But if OG can clear them cleanly and not lose much of their health, just like that, oh. instant headshot, then suddenly this bomb site's in question. Suddenly, a post plant looks good, but Jax does get another body back to their favor. Tease, stand on site, and it's gonna be a fight to the death. Counter terrorists try to push in, Nexus got them both. How and about it? Just like that, G2 are gonna find themselves on double digits in a comfortable fashion. Three surviving, op included. A double kill from Jax through the wall of balcony door. Mm. Oh, these nades, oh, they catch him on the fallback. Oh my God. Life flashes before his eyes. And straight up rush. Another chance here for the T's. They oh. move up closer. They're going to walk into the flames, though. Nexa, he's fumbling grenades, but luckily Issa fully blind. Three kills before finally some sort of a response. Alexi B with a second, but that's it. Nexa's had enough. And G2 take an 11th round on the CT side of Inferno. A little bit limited, losing some rounds they probably should have, but also showing some good stuff, working hard for the four rounds they did get. Nice flash. Well, we're already up into this next pistol. Flash is out, Kenny S is down. Valda, can he get two? Ooh. No. It's actually going to be teased to get most of the trades, but finally, Alexi will be able to fall back. It's a bit of a bait setup at the top of Banana. There's still Issa over at A by himself. The bomb looked like it was going to fake towards this site, but they did a little bit too well. There's this weird world of Issa possibility where Issa spotting, catches bomb. Yeah. Yep. Oh. But he's going to have is. to do it. We'll... He looks away. Oh my God. He knows he could still catch that cross. He knows that if he pushes this right now, he could get the frag onto Jax. But the longer he waits, this is what he's happens. Kill them all. I mean, now they're all ready. Up. Oh, the bomb goes down. Oh. He can now dictate how to play this, but he's so low within one of dying. It's planted for banana, right? Comes so. all the way from banana. And if he doesn't, then obviously Amanek becomes that insurance policy in the deep post plant. Call it a day. That's it. You got a pistol Whoa. round one for G2. Jax just sitting here waiting for that smoke to fade before his teammate peeks it off mid, but counter terrorists, they're going to make a play from the opposite side. So traded back and forth. This is a big duel. There are not many chances for OG in the gun rounds, but they've offered back another kill. They've offered an opening for G2 to keep the ball rolling. There's another frag to their favor. They can focus entirely over on lane, and it falls onto the shoulders of Issa. Smokes, flashes, it all goes past. He holds off and gets just one kill. But look at this health. Hunter, just though, slip. he just uh, is, a, is a bit too, too antsy. He tries to flank <laughs> Valda. Who's now going to try and get this second gun down. Yeah. Amanek has to stick around just in case he did have the kitten ops to go for it. But he won't. That's a 14th for G2. 10 rounds the lead over OG. But uh, again, we've got ourselves a bit of a stalemate here. Wow. They're just ready for the fast flank, I guess. Yeah, Nexus throwing flashbangs back over Banana. Man, go pick up the bomb before that becomes a problem. They're I'm still anxious. They're, yeah, like it, it, you can see, they know that bottom Banana control is taken. Look at Alexi. He's already yep. taking advantage of the situation. Nobody has the bomb still. They go back to grab it. And maybe that's the only reason they see him. But now Valda, he the should be able to. The jig is up. Yeah, he can come in all. for round two. And he's, look, Nexus making noise, grabbing Valda's this. Valda's got well. a peek. Valda's got to make a play here. He's going to let him go back. Yeah, he's just going to take him top mid. Nexa needs to keep this one going, but yeah, if he drops that seconds. bomb... What the hell is going on? He turns around and kills him, but they still have to get to the A site. So, I mean, they've been corralled into they what could is win. a stack. If they kill him in pit, they could win. They can't get the bomb down just yet. They get him. Oh, my God. Good Molotov here to force Kenny S into the open. He can't really fall back, but he can tuck behind car. 
This is a round where Kenny S can just farm. Low grenades here for OG. Ooh. They make an aggressive option. They Great run right flash. into him. Flash is on Kenny S. He hasn't peeked out just yet. He's here to try to pick up the slack. It's actually Almanac to take his place real quick. Uh, of the five players still alive for OG, the only Man, two B low. defenders are both low. Oh, they're both low. Alexi and him, 39 health oh, combined. That it? That's the, well, look at that. It's the flash, that one flash, and they decide not to execute. It's like a solar flare. Yeah. That's what, it felt. that's what it felt like for them. They just uh, were like, all right, that's it. You ever seen a flashbang win around? And all they got, they're going to get comfortable over on A. Really curious. Okay, a couple of flashes. We see Avaldi making his way back naturally. Yeah, they might sprint in on this, though. Yeah. Alexi's going to put the smoke down. Good call, Jack. Oh, interesting. That's big. I mean, he's just going to try and charge right through this. Predicts the peak from Valda, but will die regardless. 30 seconds. This is where the nade damage could come into play. Hunter and Nexa, very low. And could no have a miraculous hold. Nobody else is rotating, though, so it is all Valda. All day long. He's going to eat another flashbang, and it really boils down to this peak. Oh. He's dropped by Nexa. The op honed in on this. Last man in, too. Again, low health, but OG have to play for the round. They have no other choice. This, point. this is map one about to be bagged and tagged from G2. We talked about the nade damage. It could still have massive impact on the round. Full bars for OG's side, but Nexa snipes down another. Kenny S dropped to 32. NBK and Issa have everything to do, but time is the issue. Bomb halfway gone. And they've confirmed that there's at least a man in the back of the bomb site. More damage going out, but no deaths, no kills. Four players still alive as G2 take map one. We know G2 have fantastic things in store on Dust. And that is maybe where this all ends. So listen, London, let's leave it all on the line tonight. Let's get loud. Let's get proud. Let's get off to the flying start that is this 5v4. Yeah, Amanek executed on a long peak. Mantu is looking to hold the line here. Two more bodies starting to try and peek out. Jack's good trade. It looks like it's time to go into B. This has got that car position, and he's also got that bomb thrown down. So CT set scrambling. Issa, can he get so it? Oh God, he's so Ooh. good at that. N needed to know who was supposed to be their mid player. That was one thing. Oh my God. Vald is very comfortably close towards long doors. So. The pressure really falls onto the shoulders of Mantu and Alexi B, both over towards ramp. And there's no Molotovs or frag grenades to go oh. out here for the tease. That's excellent utility coming back. Fine-tuned timing out of OG Esports, but the <laughs> round isn't over yet. G2 still have a chance to just burst past this. They're going to need those crispy headshots, though. Jack 7 health, down first, and Mantu still not coming out of Goose. Has shadow advantage, but down he goes, and Hunter is looking to be the difference maker. Two frags, gunning for the third. Valda shuts him down, but Nexa plants bomb, and Valda's all that's left. Aminex late lurk pans out. Yeah, well, immediately, as you said, on the fallback, but damn, MB MBK pushing smoke on B? What do you... There's no take backs. Man two sees two past and immediately they're gonna pressure the top box. Alexi, great headshot versus Jax, throwing the bomb into the open and a Molotov's gonna burn off some time. They're gonna have to decide if they wanna just, just go for a sprint towards B. Nice time flash, Alexi sees this, confirms the numbers piling up here. Aminette getting ever closer, a crucial duel. But Mantu's still in position here. 15 seconds, and he hears the Mac 10. Deals with that first, pops up, misses the shot, but the flank's coming in quick. And Mantu, still good to hold. Hunter, excellent trade, but no time for the bomb plant, so he needs kills. He can do it, but Issa holds off. Mm. And OG take another round. Pushing it down to the wire to the last seconds. Hunter needs to stay alive after time. He does manage to do that. Early B presence from G2. Maybe this will do the trick. What's really interesting is like all these plays are based off of where Alexi goes in these CT rounds. It's either at mid, at long, helping with the three setup, pushing off Cat here. Oh my god, they're already pushing into B. And BK. All the while, a great spray it goes awry a little bit there, but the trades are in. Oh, and I love that Jax is going to stick around on mid. Alexi caught off by this, giving over the info, but Jax knows he's going to get pinched. So Alexi bests him, and Kenny S plants that bomb and then ejects onto the scaffolding. They may not know he's here, <gasps> but now he's spotted! And so damn close! Whoa. But Mantu's gonna pick it up. See, dynamic positioning here for Mantu. He's ready for the peak so he can flick on Jax. It's interesting though, it's like, you've got a solo anchor at long. Well, bait set up here for Issa, he'll move back. Well done. Teaser trying to get away from this. Ooh. Oh, that's a free kill. 
just skewers a bullet through the doors. Bit messy here from G2. Yeah, a little bit. You know, starting to uh, starting to crumble under some of the pressure from OG. Valda doesn't want to show his head. Could very well lose it. We've seen him solely on long A. But he's comfortable. Peeking through the flames. Kenny S has way too many angles to clear out. Now both players spotted. He had one chance at that shot. NVK, whoa, caught sprinting down mid. Wow. This kind of throws things into a weird mix. Nexa still zero frags thus far. Only needs one to clear out this B site. Issa's gonna go for the peak. He's got the Deeg in hand. Nexa, what can you offer? He's on the scoreboard, but he's gonna need two more kills. Yeah, you guys should be nervous. He's got that bomb down, uses his incendiary and smoke towards mid, but he is wrong. It is both CTs coming in off of tunnels, and Alexi gets the kill. <laughs> it's defense on the first clash, but let's see if they can get out mid. Again, smoke spam, great timing coming out of the CTs. OG throwing Alexi B forward, only able to grab another kill, but he's done such a great job. Oh, what? Nexa robs it back. Three kills, but here comes Valda on the flank, hot on the heels of the mid play. 2v2, and he dodges the op. Kenny sprints into the B site. He Four, will three. Yeah, find I the plants. He's got it, yeah. The clock's going to be a bit different. Ooh. Bob goes down. Doesn't want to risk another death. Yeah? Yeah, Ru wants to get some exits here. Ruin the ratio. Oh my god. He's going to get them both. Oh, Kenny's going to die to the bomb. So he's got to come out with a wicked Kenny peek, and it's just going to feed Valda a little bit more. So after that round win, G2 still don't have that much money to work with. Just going to have to give them a little bit more real estate. Ooh, look how crowded it's getting over there. Yeah, again, a really on the elbow. Nobody's watching Cross at all. They're playing for Catwalk, hoping that the T's don't cross long before they get this cover, but as long as they clear Hunter, things should be all right. <gasps> they don't! And now he pops up, takes two, and it is an obliteration on the A site. Hunter sets the bear trap and springs it on his own. The M4 so close to clearing him. Mistakes were made. Remember, Hunter did the exact same thing when Mantu didn't clear it deep enough on the previous round. So that's a wrap. Nice round from G2. Yep. Can they keep this comeback rolling? Well, it's going to be a little bit of aggression from the defense first. Kenny S takes to lower tunnels and then ejects, but he has gotten them to try and give chase. Issa Ooh. and Alexi popped by Jax before NBK snaps it back with just one kill. Damn, take notes, man. Jax has been fantastic. Uh, and he, here he starts this out, gets all the info, shuts down the default a little bit, shakes things up in the G2 camp, or the OG camp, excuse me. Next on the fallback, gets caught on the ramp. In the meantime, Kenny S is also going to come in from Catwalk, so a trident of a retake here. As they look to pinch in on site, Valda versus Amanek. This is a crucial duel, and it's gone to the favor of the CTs. Another coming out of it, but NBK trying his damnedest to clutch. Oh. Shut down. G2 win the second pistol. OG, they did a great job on the half that they struggled with in the first matchup. Good but call. they don't know what this CT side necessarily looks like. So they're going to have to test it. NBK, great timing. Aminex going to be very much on his own. One headshot, that's it. So quick to shut down the players in sight. Mantu comes out from the cubby, and Valda lends a helping hand. This may be one of the most daunting tasks as of yet for this T-side. An actual gun round to try and manhandle. And Kenny S topples the first. Hunter's going to be close smoke. NBK oh, peeks come in on. and deletes him, but Amanek empty-handed. Doesn't even seem ready. Finally, Kenny grabs himself another, but so what? b site four gone. I love the consistency. It's great. So we may have something special in store, but we've got to get there first. Hunter, he's going to get himself tucked into pit real deep, real quick. And he's got Jax by his side, not to mention another player to try and go for the peak. NBK's not going to clear his corner and it oh, costs him, but yeah, oh, right. blind through smoke. They rock him back. 4v2. There's low health on three of the four players, but oh, ooh, he just made sound. Yeah. Kenny may have heard that, but he's going to get ripped apart. And suddenly it all falls onto Amanek. So OG down and dirty after that first map. It looked like they were goners. But if my name's not Connor, we've got ourselves a match. 16 to 5 by the looks of it.
Not just a comeback, but a comeback in stunning fashion. Aminex dead. OG on fire, and we go the distance, baby. They've done it. They've bounced back on Dust2. And the big question is, where do they hit? Well, Bomb sits inside of Lobby. Three members outdoors already. A little bit of smoke for the cross, but it's been spotted. And we praise the rotations of G2 at times. Now already down here in the depths of B, but 9 HP combined for Hunter and Kenny S makes that site so susceptible. Here comes Issa out on A, a follow-up frag from NBK, and a second! The CTs. Yeah, and they've already pulled two rotates below them. They have to rotate up very unfavorable positions. Oh, man. And remember, those players have such little health, so it's already a desperate attempt to fly out from vents, but maybe Hunter can do this? No. Mantu shuts him down. Kenny S drops into the site. Good night. OG kicking it off with a pistol round win. And they're going to come here shoulder to shoulder, clearing out all the possible spots, but more damage Just being damage. done. No kills connected. No damage to the CTs either, Hunter. and Hunter coming in quick. He's gonna execute too. Runs downstairs, nearly a third one. Issa able to respond, able to claw back for the T's. But remember, low health. Luckily for OG, Mantu connects the headshot swiftly. Oh, options left open. Oh, Ooh. wow, Mantu coming in clutch when they need it the most from a 3v3 now to the 3v1. Aminek dropping down like Spider-Man into the vent. Looking for a flank kill here, oh, and I don't oh, know oh. how, but he oh. did not spot his first target. A Mantu doesn't get all three. I mean, no, it's Amanek. He has to work hard, but he ends up but getting it. That's the big one. I mean, we say Mantu shouldn't get all three, but Mantu also had 100 HP, and the door's open. Whoa. Amanek's gonna rush it. Whoa, his teammate it's not there. planted oh, we three can't seconds. Cover that. There's no way. Amanek robs the round. Close the door. That one's wild. Still, yeah, you can't drop rounds like that. Listen, I love roller coasters, so let's keep this one going. Okay. Next is going to fall back. He felt as though they were getting close. There's that single AK from Alexi to at least open up, and he even gets a second. Now the Fomus on Nexa. He's going to get flushed by four of these Ts, but so much damage still they stand, and it's cleared out by Hunter. Two frag grenade kills and the follow-up. Enormous. If there's a chance then, yeah, he could get through quietly. Amanek waiting on the stairs, and uh, Alexi doesn't have enough health. Would hate to see that be the same reason OG lose again. Fast cross outside. Kenny S isn't prepared for that timing at all. And Issa's going to give him a one versus one here. Tries to clear the corner, but Nexa bests him. And NBK not forcing the trade. They have a chance to come out from Decon. Good job from Valda. That's a free kill here for Alexi B to keep up uh, their odds. And Jack's gonna spot a few Ooh. crossing. Nice, very clean Man. shot on MBK and one crossing. And you can see that they have presence towards inside. But Alexi calls out his future position. Knocks him down with a nade into heaven. And it's just now on Nexa, who, you know, you'd think he's just gonna straight up save. Lots of presence up here on this A site. Whoa, Alexi, he's gonna walk in with Bomb. That's an easy first pickup, but Amanek stays tucked. Here's Hunter off of Hut with a second. SMG, not a problem. Four versus two to the favor of G2. They're looking to lock down the A site. NBK's desperate, but he's punching his way out of Hut for the moment. He holds. Man, two goes to clear out ramp. I thought maybe you'd think about flanking heaven, but it's probably worried that that's a bit too obvious. NBK will take his liberty take a liberty to walk out of the squeaky doors. Yep. Good crossfire here, though, from the CTs. Wouldn't expect this to be broken. It's going to boil down to timing. Ooh, that's a first one, and oh Hunter's God. not able to extend. Now he's spotted, but good job by him to deny that. And Mantu down. I wonder if they count smokes there, if, if Kenny S was the one who threw the second smoke on ramp. That might be a bit of a tell. Ooh, well-timed spam. Timing is ace. Five seconds. I mean, if they're going to try to hammerhead their way into this A site, last time it did not go well. 20 seconds, and they'll try their hand yet again. Hunter comes out from the corner. Him and Nexa each with a kill apiece. But Bomb's been thrown into the dirt yet once more. Valda's going to find a crucial kill. Amanek, he let one out, but Issa still executed. And nothing further for OG. This is a weird buy. Three Mac 10s, Tech 9, CZ, rapid route, already wrapping around in through Mini. Hunter behind the box has got that cover. Aminex standing above him, and it's a rock solid hold. Mm. Three frags for Hunter. Mantu, last man up. Hunter, low. 
Yep. One tap Ooh. potential. He'll go down. But Aminex got health. Yeah. 81. He doesn't have the balls, though. He's not going for the peak. It'll be Jax to pick it up. Has to form a miracle to be able to win that. Oh, Once but again, again, running into the blender yep. versus Fur Hunter, top of the hut. Finally. Oh, good trade comes out. But Nexa looks to pick up the pieces. Two up versus one. Alexi, only Mac 10 in hand. Better guns all over the place if you can find them. Don't know how yeah. close, though. It's not and quite... Kenny is now moving in Ooh, wait, for the wait, kill. Wait, Interesting, wait, though, to on. make it a 1v1. He drops <laughs> off. Predicts and it? Alexi, he loves to take this fight. We saw how patient he was in this moment. Jax pops up behind him, pops his hat right off. Their objective all the same. Stop G2 from taking the lion's share of the cash. Stop G2 from getting that top seed. And stop G2 from oh. winning nuke again. Did he just... Door just shuts down the grenade. And now Issa's going to get one headshot, but already two in for the offense. And in man two up from above. He swoops in from the rafters. There's another player inside of heaven. But NBK and Valdo want to slow this down. <gasps> What? Like a knife slices his head right off. 2v2. It's a reset. This is probably just going to be the crunch hunter. Ooh. He's trying to spot. Does he get spotted? He's out in the open. He hasn't won the duel. Dodging two CTs. Now he knows. Two tags. How do they get this bomb back? I mean, somebody's going to have to drop down and NBK taking that kill. Now, what's important is that could draw their attention away. Aminex going to peek out. He sees them both. <gasps> They're giving him duels. NBK's Gonna give him a chance back into this round if he's not careful. Again, he goes for it, but it works. Puts Issa in an awkward spot, but he can hold on to it. Matu, what are you doing? Oh my God! Yeah, they have no outside presence. They nope. they can't. They they didn't have any information. So now this A site, it's gonna be so susceptible. I mean, look at this. Easy pickings versus Issa. A door cracked wide open once Montu goes down. And suddenly it's 4v2 with this A site compromised beyond belief. Nexa plants the bomb. And G2 are looking to double up the score. In moments where he would try to give chase to the secret stairs by this late lurk. Remember, Nexus still standing at the base of Silo. There's a good first headshot, but Hunter trades it. Alexi's able to get one in the mix, and it's Hunter again. Pristine headshot after he headshot. Was he going to come back to that? He oh. goes invent. MBK, does he know? He doesn't even realize nope. that could have happened. Hunter is coming back to pick things up. He hasn't spotted Kenny yet, though. He's have both got off to, but they are here. Easy execution versus Mantu. Doesn't get back into cover, but there's also no peak. MBK plays patient. He's looking at his teammate's screen, trying to figure out what they should. Kenny seems to know. Do. Oh, <gasps> no, not even a chance. Oh, oh dude, two. Two with the Deagle. One shot off of the Deagle, hits the mark, takes away a third of his health. They go ahead and try to throw a body over, looking to offset the crosshair here, looking to make things awkward, but Mantu's got trigger discipline. Oh. oh! And he's even got wall bangs. Teammates swarm the site, and that's 12-9. Molly's to follow suit. That could force the feet of the man above the bomb site. We're watching Issa, and that op in heaven. Oh, ramp's Ooh, open now. That's a Valda. big pick. Yeah, that's bomb. It's on the sprint. It's gonna try to charge its way down to the B side as quick as can be. But look at the CTs. They've also thrown themselves down here, looking to hold the line, but it's two more kills to the favor of G2. Five versus two. Five versus one. Oh, there's none left. Outside cross about to commence. It's the it's the ambiguous smokes. You know, they can cross here any which way or wrap me if they'd like. Yeah, already picking off. An opening frag. That's a fantastic spot for them to be. Hunter's gonna pass one player, but no problem. He's hitting them from the back. Second kill, third kill. It's all crumbling. Five survive for G2, and they are looking prime to top group C. One round away. Yep, he's a little worried. Who will win the lurk. Duel is actually MBK to come up behind. Tries to line something else up. Gets a little bit of information. It's somewhat for free. He doesn't know Am Amanek is there, though. Valda, is he gonna be Push. prepared for this instant headshot? Not too bad. Won't get his head blown off by Kenny S. Actually comes out with two kills. Solid hold from Valda, but here's Nexa. And it seems like they're just five away from pushing the issue. Here's Valda. Again, just going to lock down this B site all too easy. Four. But at that point, they had boiled it down. You're one round away from actually OT. This so is wild. This is going to take everything G2 Whoa. has. Oh my god, Mantu, another look oh. outside. Two kills with the AWP. He's not scared at all. The tenacity, the confidence. We've seen him sit pretty back on CT. Kenny! 
Can he swing this? Not with anything further than a second kill, but all the while, Nexus slipped back behind Vent. We've got this 1v1 unfolding here outside, and all of a sudden, it falls onto the shoulders of Jax. Valda. Valda's got him. Valda punches the numbers in. That's 15-13. That's two more rounds. This is wild. Counter Terrorist's already down to just a single flashbang. Oh, ramp. Ramp, ramp could be hit. Valda's gonna look to lock it down. Alexi, he's caught close door, and Valda gets nothing. He's just gonna try to eject down to the B site as fast as oh, he can. Ooh. That's a crucial kill from Mantu. Now, Alexa's gonna lurk just outside of the squeaky door. It's a quick headshot could be what's needed here at B. Maybe they play the retake. This is insane from Nexa. He has control of this vent drop. They have to find new ways in. MBK goes down. That's over towards ramp. <gasps> Valda, he's gotten himself another, but he doesn't extend out. He has one HP. Mantu, 100 health. He sees those double doors swing. They're not in the best spots. They don't have control room. They try to slink one back behind Dark. Amanek has a difficult position for the CTs to dig him out from, not to mention a little bit of helping hands from Ramp. Spam coming through the floorboards. Frags oh. being added, and G2, one frag away, one HP away from shutting down the